you see any kind of system of rules that sounds really good <laughs> as some kind of democracy, some kind of system that are gonna incentivize those that contribute the most can be abused if people want that, if they want to abuse the system. Hey, this is Mike Sigla from truefury.com and welcome to another video. So, what would be the perfect political or economic system that would allow for freedom, for equality, where everyone would benefit, where there would be justice, where there would be no abuse of any kind or any sort? Is it even possible to have this type of system or society and this is what we're going to talk about today so let me tell you that my perspective on this topic and you might agree you might disagree please let me know in the comments what do you think about it but i think that no system will ever work if people have selfish interests if you know profit is uh, prioritized over everything else if people involved are greedy selfish you can put any system and no matter what will be the rules behind if someone wants to abuse such system they will find a way to do it so people will get in groups and conspire you know work together to get more for themselves so this is my perspective that it's not about the system it's about the values of people so first let me give you some examples of how some of the systems that sound good in principle can't really work in the way we are talking about here where there is equality and justice for everyone so for example democracy sounds really good in principle that everyone is equal, everyone have power to vote, to make decisions, to choose whatever they think is going to be better for them. Majority can decide what is going to be a good thing for everyone. These kind of rules or ideas sound good in principle, but the system doesn't really work this way because, for example, people think they make the right decision vote let's say for a politician but they can be manipulated to choose option that the party or the politician wants them to choose because the politician or or party will create a campaign that will target specific people will create some propaganda can for example show everything that the people want to hear so the campaign can highlight specific things that will sound good to people voting for example and hide everything else that might influence how these people vote for example in a negative way so democracy sounds really good in principle everyone is equal right everyone can vote everyone can choose what they think is good for them people can vote and majority decides on the option that will be chosen things like that this sounds good but if the public that is making the choice is uneducated or is tricked to make the choice then they are not really <laughs> making the decision that benefits them this is the basis of propaganda there are many many techniques that can be used to persuade the public to vote for whatever you want them to vote for example and this obviously has been used many times especially in politics but it's being used in every single way possible corporations use these things all the time try to trick you into buying their products by working on your emotions by highlighting 
some some kind of elements of their products to the target your interests your desires things like that so let me give you some different ideas as well why why these types of systems cannot really work properly a couple of years ago i was very much interested in blockchain and cryptocurrencies because they appeared to me as you know decentralized systems where you take away power from a single entity for example and you give more power to people or or to groups of people so this is the basic idea behind decentralized projects blockchain and cryptocurrencies and different blockchain projects that people should have more power than organization for example right an example is i don't know you have a banking institution where the bank is taking care of your funds has a lot of authority on what's happening with the money and then you have decentralized projects where anyone can for example transfer money to other people without the need of banks without the need of uh, some kind of intermediary or with like minimized structure of this type and i remember there was always a lot of hype about some of these crypto projects how they give power back to the people instead of these like greedy institutions or intermediaries and there were some of these projects that were designed for equality let's say and they failed they, they unfortunately these principles failed so let's say for example something like dash and smart cash a couple of years ago i was uh, submitting my proposals to these two cryptocurrency projects so basically i don't know if this is still the way it works but a couple of years ago the way it worked was that anyone could submit a project any kind of project that would benefit the cryptocurrency right so for example we had like a marketing campaign as true fury as my company to market these types of cryptocurrencies i submit my proposal i have to pay something to them to to submit that and then the community the cryptocurrency community so votes if they want to see my proposal succeeding or not so the way it worked with dash for example back then was something like that people who had 500 dash coins could vote for these types of projects i submit my project that i want to raise like whatever fifty thousand dollars or whatever and this is what i'm gonna offer to the cryptocurrency i'm gonna basically help them with marketing for months i'm gonna create some video content for them whatever that was kind of the idea and people who are the biggest enthusiasts let's say of the cryptocurrency who have 500 coins at least hold them can vote so they influence democratically let's say what's going to happen with the project with the cryptocurrency right it it sounded really good another similar project was smart cash i don't know what are their current the rules but i'm telling you what was a couple of years ago when i was interested in this stuff so think about this they created a system which should be fair, right? If you are someone who has 500 coins and you know, the value fluctuates, but you are like dedicated and you hold these coins, you have extra abilities to influence the project because now you have power to vote over some of the decision-making of the project, right? So in this way, they would reward some of the people who were very serious about this cryptocurrency who would buy at least 500 coins and they would hold these coins right the reward for these people would be that they can vote they can influence some of the developments of the whole project sounds really good right you get rewards for being member of our team right you are the one who believes in our cryptocurrency you you bought a lot of coins for yourself and then you you can influence with your voting power your decisions you can influence what's going to happen with the 
some of the developments. And you know, people like me who submit these ideas on how to improve the cryptocurrency, we can get some funding from, from the whole of the project to help and basically support the project. And what happened? I've heard about uh, whales, you know, people who had a lot of these coins in these projects like Smart Cash and Dash, who would get in groups and they would decide what they're gonna vote for. <laughs> so let's say uh, their friend submitted a project. There are quite a few guys who have at least 500 coins. And now they decide, okay, we want that guy to succeed. He's gonna get some money. And we all get together and vote for this guy to succeed. And this is how it was abused. I heard about these types of situations happening there. So this is how you had something that sounded good in principle, being democratic, giving more value to those who are serious about the project. And then, you know, people getting in groups and taking advantage of that to benefit themselves or their friends. Another similar project that I remember, Steemit was, I'm not sure what's going on there, but I remember there was like this social network based on crypto where creators would basically get some cryptocurrency if people upvote or like their content. And what happened, I remember hearing all these stories from people using this platform that they would again get in groups and just intentionally keep liking or upvoting the content of each other to make money from the platform. So again, you know, sounds really good, create good content and you're gonna get rewarded, but there will be people who will find ways to abuse that system because they are selfish and, you know, they're just gonna work in groups to, and help each other so they get stuff and the rest doesn't get money. So these are just examples here, but you see any kind of system of rules that sounds really good as some kind of democracy, some kind of system that's gonna incentivize those that contribute the most can be abused if people want that, if they want to abuse the system. So this is the point that I'm trying to make here that no system of governance, economic, political, any kind of system to govern society or people will ever work and be just if people are selfish, if people want to abuse that system, if people are greedy. No matter what rules you're gonna set up in, there will be always ways to get around these rules, to you know, get people in groups and take advantage of the rest of the people, whatever. And we obviously see that all the time in politics, in economy, in capitalism and things like that. So this is my idea. And by the way, in my view, often the system reflects the behavior of the people. So yeah, like capitalism, just like more for myself and then the corporations that want to be on the top, they become the greediest, the most unethical, all these types of things, right? The society is greedy, right? <laughs> and the system reflects that. And obviously, you know, the corporation that is greedy cannot exist without customers who want the, the most for themselves. So the system is a reflection of the behavior of population. People are greedy, the system has to reflect that. So what could actually work? This is, again, my own idea about it. And I want to know your thoughts, if you agree or disagree, what's, what do you think could work? Please let me know in the comments below. In my view, the only thing that could ever work and to have a system which will be benefiting everyone and will be equal and, you know, fair for everyone, let's say, is when the values are the main thing. So. Currently, the values are self-centered, priorities, greed, me, 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 as much for myself. This is how people think in society. These are the top values of people on planet Earth, right? 
more for myself, right? So obviously everything that is built from such values cannot be equal, fair for everyone. Very simple. And no matter what system is in place, it can be abused. Okay, so what I'm gonna say now might sound funny to a lot of people, but I'm just using it as an example. You know, think about it as an example. It can sound silly to some people, but I like to think about karma quite a lot because I, I believe in karma. And um, so think about, let's say, one day scientists discovered that karma is real, right? And that we live forever and uh, we incarnate. And really what you do in each lifetime is actually influencing what is that you're going to get in the next lifetime, for example. So by actually being a good person, kind person, and changing your values from self-centered to the opposite, to altruistic, you benefit long-term, let's say. And suddenly everyone knows that and it's verified by science, right? And people's values change. So instead of everyone being selfish, everyone thinking, me, 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 take as much for myself as possible, people start behaving differently, opposite that whatever they do, whether it's like getting in business, getting politics, anything, their values are the opposite. So they think about giving as much as possible for others, contributing as much as possible for others, instead of taking as much as possible for myself, right? The way that businesses or some kind of projects like that happen is that everyone wants to collaborate and add you know, to benefit the whole instead of benefiting themselves on individual organizations or, or people. So imagine if the values would shift, right? And priorities of people, the system would start reflecting that, right? And this is, in my view, the only way how any kind of system would ever work because it's not about the system. The system can be abused no matter what the rules you're gonna put there will be people who will find ways around these rules. But if their values would shift, and instead of thinking me, 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 I would, for example, think the other way around, let me benefit everyone and everything else because then I'm getting long-term benefits myself as well, and everyone is happy, this could work. This is the only option. I mean, karma is just an example here, but I'm talking about that the values need to change and no matter what system you're gonna put in place, it's not gonna work. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And if you like these types of ideas, support us on Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash truththeory. And follow me on Instagram. It's Mike Saigula on Instagram. Thanks for watching and till next time.